Good morning and welcome to the Crafty Canary for your tip on Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a Misto sprayer. Last week in my video I used this sprayer to spray olive oil on my chicken tenders that I baked and today I'm going to show you how to clean it. Now this is the one that I generally use and I actually just cleaned it and put new oil in it so for the demonstration purposes I'm actually going to use a new one. When I bought this one it came with two and so I have a new one out of the box but what you want to do is make sure that all the oil is out of it and you want to do this every six to eight weeks um, when you run out of oil. You wanna make sure that you don't let the oil go rancid and that you clean it so that the, sp the sprayer does not get clogged. So what you wanna do is take a third of a cup of hot water and just run it out of the tap hot and then a drop of liquid dishwashing soap. So just a drop, I think that was a little bit more than a drop. Then we're going to put it into the sprayer and put it together. So we put our spray part in, then our little band that goes on the top on. And then we're gonna pump it up until we get some good pressure going. Then we're gonna spray it until we run all of that soapy water through the nozzle. So we'll just keep spraying. This takes a minute or so. And you might have to stop and pump it back up again if it runs out of pressure. Sounds like it's beginning to a little bit to me, so I'm gonna give it a few more pumps. More of that water sprayed through. Now that you've run your soapy water through the nozzle, you wanna take your empty can and fill it with about halfway with clear hot water. And then you're gonna put your nozzle back on, pump it back up and spray that clear water through the nozzle to get it rinsed out so that the soap is no longer in there. Now you're, you'll have to spray that all the way through again and that will take you several minutes. But if this is not really working, you could use vinegar before you use the soapy water. Do a third of a cup of vinegar, spray that through, then do your soapy water, spray that through, and some clear water and spray that through. And hopefully that will get through your clog. You may even have to soak the nozzle in some hot water or some vinegar, and hopefully that will get your clog out. Be sure before you use it again and before you put oil back in it to let it dry thoroughly. I just set mine out on the counter on a towel for several hours and let it get really good and dry before I put any more oil in there because you don't want that water to mix with the oil because that could cause it to go rancid very quickly. So I hope you have enjoyed that tip and that it was helpful. We'll see you next week. Please be sure to subscribe and share with all your friends. Thanks!